What's going on guys? So I made this account a little after Halloween last year, and I've been waiting for the Halloween event for two main reasons. After any Halloween event, you unlock the purple house color known as Deathly Mansion, and four skin colors, blue, black, green, and white. In my opinion, the Deathly Mansion color is the best looking house in the game, and it has the same color used throughout the Arceus region of the Great Courant. The four skin colors are an interesting way to mix up your old school character, particularly with the fully black skin, you can wear priest robes and black dragon hide van braces to completely hide any textures on your character. Walking in the wilderness like this makes you pretty much invisible even on the highest brightness setting. From completing the event, you also get 70k worth of free rares, namely two pumpkins and two red, blue, and green Halloween masks. With the event only taking five minutes, it's not a bad idea to do this on all of your accounts for the free money. Along with those, for doing any Halloween event, you get all of the past rewards from the last seven years of Halloween events. These are mostly cosmetic outfits and a few emotes as well. You'll get things like the clown outfit, eek the spider, the black Halloween mask, and the banshee outfit. Along with all of those previous rewards, you get some new rewards from this year's 2019 Halloween event. There's a two-handed skeleton lantern, one-handed pumpkin lantern, the spooky robes which are used throughout the event, and if you take those robes to the Ectofuntus, you can turn them into spookier robes, which makes them turquoise. This year's Halloween event was created by Mod Flippy, and this is actually his first piece of content ever made for old school. Personally, I think he did a great job of applying an old school theme to the event, and he's added a lot of humor relating to how it feels to be a low level noob. The event itself is very straightforward. You don't need any items, although stamina potions will be handy. I'm not gonna take you guys through the whole event. You can explore that for yourself. However, for the people that would rather skip through it, on the screen, I've put every step of where to go. So you can pause here and it means you won't have to read the dialogue since the dialogue is really important for knowing the next steps. So after the short mini quest and the funny ending cutscene, you'll end up in Lumbridge Castle. Also in today's Halloween event update, an item that was previously in RS2 and is still in RS3 was added to old school and that is Dagon High Robes. The robes were previously polled with the warding skill, and since warding didn't pass, these robes have been added into the Laren's chest drop table, which can be opened after obtaining keys from Wilderness Slayer. There's two Laren's chests, Laren's small chest near the Chaos Temple and the big chest at the end of the Wilderness Shipwreck. You can obtain pieces of the set at a rate of 1 in 256 from both chests. To obtain Dagenhai robes back in RS2, they were a drop from the Dagenhai monks during the Wild Guthic Sleep's Grand Master Quest. The magic bonus of these robes is slightly better than Mystic, however, it has a plus 6 prayer bonus as well. It requires 40 defense and 70 magic to wear, making it accessible to Zerker accounts. However, Infinity robes, which are also available to Zerkers, provide a much better magic attack bonus, but they don't give the prayer bonus. So that's it for today's video. Definitely get that Halloween event done for the Deathly Mansion recolor, four skin colors, and the free rares. Be sure to subscribe if you're new out here. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.